Hey guys, what's up? Unrested here. Apocalypse34 asked me to do a little bit on the metal scene in Japan, and it's something I'm really into. So ever, pretty much ever since I got here, I was really into the metal scene. I know I really don't look like a metal guy, but surprise, I am. I'm really into metal, for real. Um, let me show you something. I want to show you something. Probably the best way to get into the metal scene is to pick up some flyers, just like you would in America or anywhere else. And one's uh, in my area, Osaka, that's a pretty big show. It's called Mortal Kombat. Now, what this show is, it's not an actual live show, okay? There's not loads of metal bands there. It's actually just DJs that come to play the latest metal. And this is, like, the latest metal from all around the world. These guys really, really keep up on their stuff. Like you can see here, well, I don't know how well you can see, but this is a flyer for the last one they just had. It was called Mortal Kombat, and the theme was Death Carnival, all <laughs> right? And um, we've got... Death metal, black metal, uh, gothic industrial, and deathcore. And they really keep up on this stuff. I mean, they will show you the latest stuff that's been out, even though, you know, they're miles and miles away from all the latest metal bands. And um, you can see that the shows, these shows go long as heck, man. You got doors open at 11.30, and they close at 5.30 a.m., so while you're at one of these, and you're going to be at it for a while if you actually go to the whole show, you're bound to make loads of friends that are really into the metal scene. Once you're there talking to these friends that are into the metal scene, ask about local bands. Find out local record labels, okay? There's some record labels you'll see that actually come to sponsor these things too, and they'll be giving away free stuff. There's usually uh, different contests or just raffles in the middle of these live shows. And it's kind of a mix just between people hanging out, listening to the newest metal, and actually even like moshing and really getting into the music. Japanese people really get into the music they love, so it's a really exciting thing to go to. No one there is lame about it at all or tries to talk about one type of metal being better than the other, and everyone really gets along. That's one thing that's really nice about hitting up clubs and stuff in Japan. So here's some record labels, and I'm sure some of these you've probably heard of that came to sponsor this last one. We've got Fab Tone, Bad News Records, Triple Vision, um, Regulator, Grindhouse Records, and um, you know these are some of the metal labels out here and from other parts of the world. And you can check some of those out if you want to find out about some bands. One that's really popular in my area, and it's actually a mix between uh, foreigners, Gaijin and Japanese people, it's called Palm. And they're really, they're really heavy, they're really good, and they've been around for a while and have been pretty big in the metal scene here. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but... Um, and there's, there's tons more, there's tons more. Uh, there's loads of death metal out here, something I really love myself, and uh, it's really got a unique sound. Now, one thing I will say is the recording quality is not always the best out here because it's really hard to make it as a band and get studio time out here. For the most part, the only bands that really make it out here at all are ones that are absolutely studio produced, which is total crap, but what can you do? So that's a little bit about the metal scene out here in Japan. I hope you enjoyed that little subject, and write to me if you have any other messages at youtube.com slash unrested. So you want to know about metal in Japan? You got Unrested's opinion. Now, time for mine. How I became to find out the Japanese metal scene and made friends through it. I actually picked up this magazine called Metal Maniacs. And right there, look in the back, there's ads on all of bands wanting to be known through the underground. And how I met a great friend through that. Um, I'll post a link to the website. Uh, if you're in America, uh, you'll be able to find this magazine, no problem. Uh, but if you're in the UK or wherever, you can find uh, Metal Hammer uh, and other metal, metal magazines. How many times can I say metal? Someone keep a count down there. That you can do it. Alright, so... I'm more towards the stream side of metal. There's this uh, website I go through, um, Encyclopedia on Metal. They have a whole list of like, I can't even count how many bands are on there. You can link right through there, they'll post where you can get their uh, CDs majority of the time, and from there you can go to their MySpace, and then if you can't find uh, their CDs, go on their MySpace, they will have a page, 
even on the website, you link it to it. And hell, you'll see uh, friends on the page commenting. And if you want to make some Japanese uh, metalhead friends, hey, MySpace is a great way to find them. Uh, hell, you can go on. Hell, you're on YouTube. You can meet some uh, friends through that. Hell, you know it. There's great and many, many freaking ways to actually find a lot of this out. Uh, I have to make this a two-parter, but hey, go check out Unrested's channel. Subscribe now!